Hi, I'm Jack, and I play the bassoon. Um, I'm going to assemble it as I talk here. The bassoon is the lowest member of the woodwind family, aside from the contra bassoon, its close cousin. And um, it is a double reed instrument, which means that instead of having like a mouthpiece and a reed, it's just the reed attached to this little thing here called the vocal. And basically, the two reeds vibrate together to create a very interesting tone. And the bassoon is one of the hardest instruments to play, so I have quite a bit to say. To get the reed started, I mean, that's, that's really the challenge with bassoon, is getting the tone you need, because it's all through this little piece of wood right here. So, you want your mouth to have a nice round O shape with forward jaw, like that, and then put your reed on. You get a nice tone like that. Tuning the instrument, the bassoon is generally in tune. Mostly, um, if you have to adjust for maybe you know a few cents, you can actually change your vocal length. I have two vocals here, and so you know depending on the day, whatever you might need to use your longer vocal. Um, but generally the bassoon is going to be in tune. You just want to make sure you're very warm before you start playing, because that's the nature of the instrument. Tonguing. That's a big thing on bassoon. Tongue, bassoon is known for the staccato. That really short sound. Um, and you do that by starting every note with your tongue, and ending the note with your tongue with a little huff of breath. And you get that nice short tone. Um, as far as different notes on the instruments go, um, the easiest thing you can do for bassoon is to get a fingering chart. Because, I mean, if you look, you got, uh, what, nine keys in the left thumb, four in the right thumb, pinkies, you got everything here, you know. It's a really tricky device, and uh, fingering charts are free online, very helpful for beginners. Um, I'm going to play a couple scales, easiest probably being the C major and the F major, and then I'll play a chromatic scale, which is the full range of the instrument. <laughs> starting on the lowest note on the instrument, going to the highest note that I can play. I mean, you can get a lot higher on the scene, but it's very tricky in technique. C major. Um, as far as cleaning goes, I'll have to 
take it apart a little, again, a little bit again to show you. But the two joints you really want to focus on cleaning are the tenor joint here and the boot because they're what collect all the water. So if I pour my boot out, sometimes, you know, it'll little drop. But you can get a silk swab, which just has a weight on the end. And you drop it through like this. Pull the chain out the other side. And that's pretty much all you need to do to clean out your bassoon, aside from regular cleaning from a music shop or something. But I guess that's about it. I'm Jack, this is The Bassoon, and thanks for watching. Uh -huh.